The world's most detailed scan of the brain's internal workings has been produced by UK scientists. The MRI machine reveals the fibres which carry all the brain's thought processes. Doctors hope it will increase our understanding of neurological disorders and could even be used instead of surgery. Our medical correspondent, Fergus Walsh, volunteered to be scanned. Here's his exclusive report. The human brain, all thought, memory, consciousness is here. In unprecedented detail, these images of my brain show the white matter, fibers called axons, the brain's wiring, which carry billions of electrical signals. Those color-coded green travel between front and back, in red, left and right, in blue, up and down. The scan was done at Kubrick, the Cardiff University Brain Research Imaging Center. I've had my brain scanned for TV reports many times, but never in this level of detail. Okay, John? Using this special MRI scanner, there are just three in the world. The team could map the wires, the axons in my brain, so thin it would take 50 of them to match the thickness of a human hair. You might feel a little bit more vibration, and the scan should last about 15 minutes. If that's the okay. team at Cardiff worked with engineers from Siemens in Germany and the US to create the 3D images. If you go up, you can actually see this has been the most exciting development in my personal research career of 22 years in MRI. It's similar to being handed a Hubble telescope when you've only had binoculars. In other words, we can look in far more detail than ever before, and we can get measures that for the very first time will allow us to address what I've called the missing link between structure and function. Sean Rowlands is one of the research volunteers in Cardiff. She has multiple sclerosis, which causes neurological damage. The relapses, attack of symptoms, can come on suddenly. It's devastating. It really is scary. You can go from being absolutely normal one day to not being able to walk, not being able to, to move in a wheelchair, and having to go through um, a, a recovery process that can take anywhere from three months to, to a year. One of the areas of damage we can see here. This um, is a conventional scan image showing a lesion, an area of damage in Sean's brain. Um, and just to contrast with that, I'm going to show But the new scan reveals another level of detail, including the density of the brain's wiring, which scientists have color coded. Deep in the brain, where the cabling is thickest, is shown in white, but the red green bullseye is an area of less density and clearly indicates a brain lesion which can trigger Sean's movement problems and extreme fatigue. Those symptoms are really only partially explained by what we see on conventional scans. What this technique allows us to do for the first time is look at axonal density in exquisite detail along each pathway of the brain. And we hope that that will allow us to uncover a lot more about the explanation for the wide range of symptoms in MS. Researchers are using the technique to investigate schizophrenia, dementia and epilepsy, and it may even have a role in cancer, allowing virtual biopsies, examining tumours without touching the brain. Fergus Walsh, BBC News, Cardiff. What a breakthrough.